Put this one on record. Just checking you can see us. I will open the windows in like probably two minutes. <laughs> it is really warm in here, isn't it? Awesome. Uh, yeah. Nice word. Okay. Ah. Hi, guys. Hope everyone is all good. Is there anything in particular anybody wants to work on today? I feel like it's been ages since we've done Rocket. It was only last week, wasn't it? <laughs> was it not on last week? That was. Oh, um, yeah, I was away. That's it. Yes, yeah, so it has been two weeks. <laughs> that makes it. Yeah, I actually was outrageous. I would much rather be here than I know. Exactly. Much rather be here with you guys. Lovely. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, anything you want to work on tonight in particular? All good. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, we'll begin in a nice wide legged child pose, taking the knees out, toes together to touch. So we're going to work on um, our lower body today in our rocket class. So really get comfy with the legs, melt the belly, maybe drop the chest. If that's too much, then feel free to come up on to your forearms. So as always, I'm going to offer adjustments in our rocket class tonight. I'm going to offer variations in the rocket class as well. But if anybody doesn't, for whatever reason, want any physical just adjustments, then just lift an arm nice and high in the sky now, just so I know. And I'll respect your space. Lovely. So where you are now, take a nice deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And take another one, inhale. And then sigh it out, exhale. Maybe you take another one like that, or you already just start to close the mouth, breathing in and out through your nose. Keeping the eyes closed, you're gonna tuck the toes under and slowly make your way into a downward facing dog position. Thinking about the lower body, so pedaling out the legs, maybe lifting the legs in the sky, finding small expression or big expression as you stretch, depending on what your body needs. Whenever you feel like the time is right, if you haven't already, just flick the eyes open. And then we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Let's look to the top of the mat, tiptoe the feet forward, big toes together to touch. Take a halfway lift to flatten the back and then exhale to fall. Reach your arms up into the sky, nice big breath in and then hands to heart center release. So first round, nice and slow, sun A. Inhale, lift the arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Step or jump, chaturanga as you exhale. Lift the chest, take your back bend. Downward facing dog, let's take it back. So adjust the feet if you need. Finding that lovely stretch all the way along the backs of the legs. You might feel it in the arms and roll the shoulders in. After your next breath, take the eyes forward, step or jump the feet forward. Halfway lift, flatten the back, exhale to fold. Lift the arms up to the sky, inhale, hands to center, exhale. So you're on your own, moving through your second round, you're going to do two, maybe three, maybe it's four quick rounds of sun A. So just go on at your own pace. It doesn't need to be that fast rocket pace just yet. If you want to go a little slower tonight, then feel free. You might hold your down dog. You might jump straight out of it. Maybe after a couple of rounds, you use that down dog and replace it with a child pose. Maybe you replace it with a little bit of inversion prep or inversion practice. 
But as long as you're moving with your breath, flowing through your next round. Lovely, making sure you can hear the sound of your own breath. If you want to hold that down dog, really enjoy that hold. Melt the chest all the way towards the thighs. Nice, and thinking about every single movement. So not just that pose, but getting into the pose, getting out of the pose. See if you can make something quite dynamic, feel nice and calm, nice and relaxed. Lovely, nice jump back. Wherever you are, we're gonna meet in down dog in five breaths. So maybe you've got time for one last quick vinyasa. We'll meet there in four. Maybe you wanna hold that vinyasa for three. I'll hold that down dog for two. Amazing for one. Eyes to the top, step or jump the feet forward. Halfway lift flat in the back. Exhale to fold. Lift the arms up to the sky. Inhale, hands to center. Exhale. Let's come into our chair pose. Bend the knees, reach the arms up nice and high. Forward fold on your exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Either crow pulls or fold two breaths. Take an exhale. So first breath, inhale. Exhale. Hold it where you are, inhale. Chaturanga, step or jump. Exhale. Lift the chest. Downward facing dog. Right leg lifts into the sky. Warrior one, step it through. Lift the arms high, big breath in. We're going to come into our standing split, fingers down, breath out. Lovely, high plank on your inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Lift the chest. Down dog. Left leg into the sky. Step it through, warrior one. Lift the arms, breath in. Stand in, split, breath out. High plank, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Lift the chest. And downward facing dog. Lovely. So option one, you're going to hold your down dog. Option two, you're going to come into a really short down dog. So walk the feet in. Get a little bit of extra length on those hamstrings. And then hold it there for three. For two. For one. Let's walk the feet back just a touch. Bend into the legs, look in between the thumbs. You're gonna hold this kind of loaded child's pose or you're gonna start to play with your bunny hops. Kick the heels to the bum. Thighs towards the belly, always looking in between the thumbs. If you're going to roll out or fall out, roll over to one side. Breathe there for two. Yes, if you want to hold it, if you can keep that hold, hold it for the last breath. And then step the feet forward, top of the mat. Nice, lovely. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Chair falls on your inhale. Hands to heart center, exhale. Chair pulls, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Crow pulls or fold on your exhale. Hold it in crow. If you're gonna go ahead, stand, lower the head, drop it down. Take a breath out. Back to your crow if you're not there already. Breath in. Chaturanga, breath out. Yes, lift the chest, inhale, down dog, exhale. So let's drop down to our knees. Let's just give the wrists a little bit of a wiggle, sway the head, sway the neck. So we're gonna do a couple of rounds of our warrior ones. All the time, we're gonna think about that standing split position. So see if we go right leg, 
warrior one will step through lift the arms take a breath in you can drop the hands either for a standing split where you lift the leg or you can use this opportunity to scissor kick the legs and land in your chaturanga so you switch legs in the sky land on one leg just so two legs it's quite difficult for coordination so let's give it a go downward facing dog when you're ready stand and split all that scissor kick let's start take a breath in and a breath out lift the right leg into the sky inhale warrior one exhale arms lift on your inhale lovely hands down stand and split or switch and lower when you're ready so step it back moving through as soon as you've done your right side go straight to your left sorry my breath is maybe a bit longer maybe a bit shorter than yours so go on that left side it might be just a super quick quick scissor kick as soon as you've done that left side go straight to the right see if you can slow it down just a little bit even with that scissor kick think slow more scissor kick yes awesome and unfortunately the slower you go the higher you've got to go to get that slow motion once you've done two full rounds we'll all meet in our downward facing dog position yes the slowest of motions <laughs> Nice. Nice, Gary, lovely. And then breathe in that downward facing dog or complete that left side if you haven't already. Hold it there for three. Nice. Hold it for two. for one. Bend the knees, eyes to the top, step or jump the feet forwards. Halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale. Chair pulls on your inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms, and then hands to heart center. Amazing. So we're going to do one last round of our crow pose. Remember, you've always got that option just to plant the hands, have the knees as nice and high up the arms. If you're going for that little teddy bear headstand, it's as if as soon as you lift the feet and the bum, the head will drop. You don't need to jump up. From here, you can always jump it back. So when you are ready, let's find that chair pose. Big breath in, fold breath out. Halfway lift, inhale, fold or crow pose on your exhale. Lovely, maybe you're holding or going into headstand, inhale. And exhale. Lovely, take a breath in. Save that next exhale for your chaturanga. Jump it back. Yes, move through your vinyasa. And we'll meet in down dog. Lifting your right leg up into the sky. Warrior two, big step through, five breaths here. So let's bring that foot just a little bit further. Yeah, really nice wide stance. So you wanna feel it inside the legs. You wanna maybe feel that fire in the front leg as if it's a full on lunge. Hold it there for two. for one nice straighten that front leg maybe wiggle the back foot trikonasana as you reach forwards if you want core you can bring the arms parallel but again thinking about the legs bring that right hip over to the left Breathe there for two. For one. Rise all the way back up. Step that back foot in for your twisted triangle. Left arm reaches high, inhale. And then we'll cross it over on your exhale. 
Maybe you reach the right arm up to the sky. Maybe you need that right, that left hand on a brick or maybe to the shin. And definitely don't look at me today. I'm so wobbly. So if I fall out, I'm just having my own little moment. Hold it there too. Let's really imagine someone pulling your hand up towards the ceiling for one. Lovely, then release, open it wide, extended side angle. So let's re-lunge into that front leg, left arm all the way up and over. Again, think hips more than the twist, more than the upper body. So see if you can lower the hips down towards the earth, but feel really solid in the feet. Breathe there for two. For one. Lovely, drop the hands in the mat, runner's lunge. Three-legged down dog, lift the leg into the sky. You're either gonna hold it there or walk the hands back for a standing split. You might have both hands down or wrap the left hand around the left calf. So really feel it into the back of that left hamstring. Nice, walk it forward into a down dog. You can stay there, you can take a child's pose, or you're gonna use this right leg in the sky to move into your first inversion. So head stand or forearm stand, right leg stays lifted, point the toes. You might keep the left leg on the floor, or you might start to toe tap it away, hover it off the back. Yeah, so the longer those, that left hamstring is, then the easier it'll feel to bring that right leg up into the sky. Nice. Beautiful, Catherine. Let's take a couple more breaths. I'll go behind you for these two. Nice heel to bum. One more, just Tony, take your hands a little further towards the back edge of the mat, but head in the same spot. Yeah. And then release, come all the way down. Yes, you got it, nailed it. Downward facing dog when you're ready. Big breath in and breath out. Left leg in the sky. Let's step it through warrior two. So again, super big stance, open out the arms. Five breaths here. So check in on the knee, check in on that big toe. As if that gaze is set and that is the most important thing. Nothing else around you is going to change this position. Let's extend that front leg coming into our trikonasana, maybe wiggle the back foot. Your variation, see if you can mimic whatever you did on the opposite side. Whether it's hands parallel or reaching the hand to the shin inside the leg maybe you have the body proportion to reach down towards the toe without the hips moving out of line lovely nice after your last breath let's come all the way back up extended side angle so refine that lunge your variation once you've set the feet, figure out the hips, the rotation of the body, and then you can start to think about the arms and then the gaze. Feeling that fire in the front leg if you've got that nice deep lunge. Beautiful. For two. For one. Oh, we've missed out twisted side, twisted triangle. We'll have to go back. Let's come all the way back up. Step the back foot in, twisted triangle. Right arm reaches into the sky. And then let's cross it over. So variations to the right, to the shin, to the left. Whatever feels right for your body. Nice. See if those hips can square to the front. Let's breathe there for two. 
a full one. And release hands down, three-legged down dog, lift the leg in the sky, walk the hand back to the foot if you did on the other side. If you stayed in down dog, stay there. So if you go and stand and split, maybe your right arm or hand wraps around the leg. Thinking of keeping the hip square as long as you're feeling it in the back of that standing leg. And that is perfect. So let's keep that length as we walk the hands forward again. Down dog, you might drop the head, drop the forearms if you're going to come into that inversion. But wherever you are, you really want that energy through that lifted leg. So point the toes all the way up to the sky, kick the heel to the bum. Yeah, so look in between your forearms in that forearm stand. Awesome, I'll be behind you just as a wall. Yes, nice, amazing. All in the head, isn't it? <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Last couple of breaths. I've left you just so you know. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's good to play with both those variations. See which one you prefer. I prefer this one, but personal preference. Downward facing dog when you're ready. Nice, Ellie. Lovely. Take a nice deep breath in and a big breath out. Eyes to the top. Step or jump the feet forward. Halfway lift to flat on the back and then exhale to fold. Chair pose, bend the knees, let's lift the arms and then hand to center, release. We're going to step out with our right leg. So prostarita, padottanasana, toes in, heels out. Let's take hands on the waist to start. Big breath in and then fold breath out. So keeping the spine nice and flat, you might drop the fingertips down if you need that support. Optional challenge to reach the arms out left and right. Or oh, that extra challenge, reach the fingertips forward. But wherever you are, you want to keep that really flat back position. So it's more about the legs. If you're not feeling this in the hamstrings, then you are a machine. Breathe out for two. A full one. Let's drop the hand to the floor, soften the position a bit if you need. So you can bend the legs. You can allow the head to roll down. If anybody wants to go into a headstand from here, practice slowly lifting the heels, the balls, the feet, the toes. So it's like one by one, weight goes forward, legs rise up. Finding your own leg variation. Nice, Emma, lovely. Breathe there for two. If you're up, open your legs, flex the feet for one. Slowly come down. Lift the chest halfway, take a big breath in. And exhale. Let's rise all the way up to the top. And then we'll release. So coming into our goddess squat, stay where you are. Just turn the toes out, heels in. You can simply sink the hips down nice and low. Again, optional challenge. You can come into your half goddess squat. We lower the belly so it's parallel to the floor. Reach the arms out in front. So it's a big, big one for the hips. And lots of power in the legs. Yeah, keep the fingertips in line with the ears, the shoulders, and the lower part of the spine. Breathe wherever you are for two. For one. And then release. Let's come all the way back up. Lovely. Turn the toes in, heels out. Hands wrap around the back or you interlace the fingers. Big breath in. And then take the arms all the way up and over. If you're interlacing the fingers, then squeeze the hands and shoulder blades together. If you're just wrapping the hands around the back and just softly have that contact point. Oh. 
lovely when you are ready slowly soften the legs rise all the way back up so last goddess squat toes out heels in but you're going to bring this goddess squat a little bit wider than your regular goddess squat so sink the hips down nice and low bring the hands on the legs or hands together we're going to move through our Gandhasana here. So lunge into your back leg, doesn't matter which one that is. Straighten out the front, yes. Inhale through center, stay nice and low. Exhale it to the front. Let's move through, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Nice, last round, inhale to the back, exhale, center, inhale, the front, exhale, let's come through center, hands on the earth, either straighten the legs, keep the sit bones high, or wiggle them out into your middle splits, so hands, maybe you lift the chest, or if you prefer to really lower the belly down, drop it down, And then hold it there for five. Slowly just take one more breath. And then release, hands on the floor. Let's wiggle the feet in, soften into the knees as you rise all the way up to standing. When you're ready, we'll step all the way top of the mat. Inhale to lift the arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Back then, lift the chest, inhale. Down dog on your exhale. Amazing. So you can either walk or jump the feet forward, yogi squat, top of the mat. And we'll land here. Lovely. So you've got the option, hopefully our hips feel nice and open. You've got the option to stay in yogi squat or we're going to come into our, an arm balance, our shoulder pressing posture. So hands are going to go behind the heels. If you want, you can place the hands on bricks, lower the bum down, and you're gonna start to wiggle the feet in, nice and close, cross the toes, lift the head, look forwards. So it's like you're squeezing the arms with the legs for dear life, so you don't go anywhere. If that's too intense for the wrists, then let's come into your yogi squat. Yeah, lift the chest, straighten the arms if you're in that shoulder pressing posture. Breathe wherever you are for three. If you feel comfortable, maybe TT Bathana for the last few breaths. So extend the legs up and out. Don't worry if you pop on the floor. For two, for one, we'll all meet in our yogi squat position. I don't, you don't expect to get up. I wouldn't expect you to get up from there, but if you can, then amazing. Nice, get a little rock. Lovely, nice work. Let's straighten out the legs, wiggle the feet in. Sorry, I'll poo poo hips. Take a halfway lift and then exhale, fold. Reach the arms up to the sky, nice back bend at the top and then hands to heart center, release. Lovely. So we're going to come into our extended big toe, A and B. So right leg is going to lift up. Catch the foot, if it's too intense, then feel free to catch the shin. Catching the shin, yeah. You're with me tonight. So three breaths here, thinking about hip square, shoulder square, and then kick the heel out in front. Let's take the leg over to the right. So about one, maybe two o'clock. Wherever you can keep the hips still square to the front, eyes over to the left. Nice. 
Three there for three. For two. For one. Ah, let's step it back and coming into your pyramid position. So hands on the waist, take a big breath in and then forward fold, breath out. So in this pyramid, we're either going to reach fingers to shins, down onto the floor, or you're going to start to reach the fingertips just a little bit further forwards, but trying to keep your left hip back and your right hip forwards. Back heel is firmly down on the mat. Ears come through the biceps. So again, you might feel a lot on that left hamstring. Let's take it forward into our standing split. Lift the right leg up into the sky. Option to wrap left arm. Option to right wrap the right arm as well if you're going to play with the balance tonight. Breathe there for two. For one. Plant it back down, warrior one. So let's lift the arms up. I'm going to give that, uh, that left hamstring a little bit of a break before we'll going to our next two. Breathe here for three. Lovely. So we're going to come into our half moon position, reach the body forward, try and be as light as you can on those left fingertips. If you're going for the bind, take the bind. Maybe you're reaching that left arm towards the front of the room if you don't even need it there on the mat. Nice, turn those toes a little bit more to the right. Yep, that's it, Jade, lovely. For one. Twisted half moon, right hand down, left hand reaches up. Maybe you've got the bind, bend the leg, catch the foot. Maybe those right fingertips are reaching towards me if you're playing with the balance. Hold it there for two. Lovely for one. And then we'll step it back, come into our low lunge, drop the right knee, untuck the toes. So just have a little play with your low lunge. You might reach the arms up, you might take a little back bend, maybe a side stretch. So I know I haven't done much upper body, so figure out what works for you. After the next breath, we're going to spend 10 breaths in our split position. You can be half split, you can be three limb fold, or you can go into your full split. Maybe because it's 10 breaths, you do a variation of a couple, or just go straight into the full shebang. At least it's uh, seven o'clock at night, so we're a little bit more so far. Amazing. Let's breathe there. So taking five more breaths. Either you stay, if you want to go further and you're in the split, maybe you start to lift fingers, maybe even start to lift hands. Or if you're in that folded position, just start to reach the arms forward. Lovely. Breathe for three, a two, for one, and release. Let's walk the hands forward, step the right foot forward to meet the left. Take a halfway lift and then exhale, fold. Reach the arms up to the sky, big breath in, hands to heart center, release. So left side, extend a big toe in your variation. Whether you had shin or foot, really, really active leg. So thinking a lot about that right leg as well, as well as the left. Mm -hmm. 
hold it for two. For one. Let the knee go out to the side for B. So open it up slightly, maybe you turn the gaze. If it's too intense with the leg, uh, straight, bend it if you're with me. And then release, step it back, hands on the waist, take a big breath in, fold into your pyramid, and then keep the hips, keep the shoulders square. You might go hands down or hands reach out in front. Let the head melt. Yeah, keeping that leg nice and straight if you can, that front leg. Don't worry if the hands are a little bit higher. Nice, for two. For one. Stand and split, one big step through your variation with the arms. So even if you're playing with both of the arms, you might notice the back, the lifted leg drops slightly and that's okay because you've got that extra element of balance. Nice, Abby, lovely. After your next breath, let's release, drop it down, warrior one. Reach the arms up, lunge into the front leg, find your gaze, hold it there. So when you're ready, half moon, really light on the right fingertips, lift the left leg away from the floor, stack the hips. So finding your expression, think hips, think hamstrings, Think lightness in the body. So with that bind, add in a little back bend if you've got it. Awesome, Catherine, lovely. Roll that shoulder back as well as rolling the hip. Now straighten out the hips, come into your twisted half moon. So left hand down, right hand up. Two, a full one, and then release, come into your low lunge. So again, a few breaths of freestyle movement with the upper body, take a little stretch, maybe a little twist or a back bend. Nice big breaths. And then let's start to move into our splits. 10 breaths in your splits. So try and mimic whatever you did on the other side. Yeah, use those props. If you've got them underneath the hands, walk them underneath the shoulders. Do you have brick floor? Oh, <laughs> like that. Just because it would be great because that's about the perfect height for a brick, like right underneath that front leg. Yeah, same with you, Emma. Like a really flat one, yeah. Last couple of breaths. And when you're ready, let's come forward, step that left foot forward to meet the right. Take a halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale. Reach your arms up to the sky, nice big breath. And then hands to heart center, release. Inhale, nice and slowly, breath in, lift the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, chaturanga on your exhale. Lift the chest, take a back bend, downward facing dog, take it back. When you're ready, let's drop down to our knees. So before we go into a few seated poses, we're gonna play with one last inversion. So you've got a couple of options. Feel free to 
stack a couple of bricks one on top of each other or feel free to use the wall. So the idea is to get up into our headstand in, in a pike position. So we wanna walk our toes in as close as we can towards the elbows. See if we can lift them up at the same time. So use a lot of that core. If anybody wanted to play with legs white, you can take that variation. The hips are nice and open. So if you wanted to also play with your legs wide in a forearm stand instead of headstand, then feel free. Let's give it a go. So let's use those lovely open hamstrings, those lovely open hips to try and flip ourselves upside down. If you feel like that headstand pike is quite easy and you're like, oh, this is nice up here. Maybe you start to play with seeing if you can lift the head off the floor with the interlaced fingers. So it's like you're transitioning from your headstand to your forearm stand. <laughs> it's going to get wobbly. <laughs> nice. Yeah. You can't you can't do that in a, a, a tripod headstand unless you've got super strength. I'm not saying you can't, you can, but I, I, I absolutely could not. Woohoo, yes. <laughs> yeah, so it's, I'm going to use a wall for this because uh, things are wobbly. So with that position, it's like you're in a headstand and then you push up. So it's like you lift the head, drop it down. Even if it's just, <laughs> I might do that with cushions and a bed. Next to it. <laughs> That's fair enough. Nice. Just take last a few breaths. So that pike is a lot of core and it's also a lot of like pelvic tilt to bum back. You okay? <laughs> Lovely. When you're ready, we'll all come down onto our mat. Oh, you have to. <laughs> Lovely. You don't have a wedding this weekend or anything. <laughs> Let's open the legs out nice and wide. Hands onto the thighs or onto the shins. Take a nice deep breath in. And then fold the breath out. We're going to take another inhale. Keep the back nice and flat as you exhale. So just one more like that. Lengthen a little further on your inhale. And then fold, exhale. So you might still be reaching the thighs, shins, potentially the feet, maybe even the little toes. And then relax the head. So keeping those legs nice and active. Backs of the legs down to the mat. After your next breath, let's bring the legs in together. So we're going to keep our left leg extended. Right leg is going to cross over either the sole of the foot on the floor or see if you can get the outer edge of the foot. So it's kind of like a one-legged shoelace position. I'll pivot around. If anybody wants to go two-legged shoelace, tuck the left leg under. Catch the feet, take a breath in. A little fold as you breathe out. So if you're in that two-legged shoelace, you'll be feeling it a little more on the outer edges of the leg. If you're in one-legged shoelace, then you'll feel it all the way along the back of that left hamstring. Take one more breath. And then release, lovely. So you're gonna bring your top right leg, getting ready for your heron posture. But with that left leg, instead of having it long, we're gonna bend it, place the sole of the foot on the floor. 
extend the leg out. So right heel towards the top corner of the mat. Sit up nice and tall. So I don't know why I've done this pose because no way I'm going to be able to do this, but you guys might be able to do this. You're either going to stay here or you're going to start to get a little bit of momentum. Maybe come into a pistol squat. <laughs> Hold it there. Trying not to cheat to use that hand. But I'm going to cheat and use the hand so you can't see behind me. That's your pistol squat, and you're going to hold it there. Yes, kick the heel. That's too intense. Come all the way back. Two. Yes, keep kicking the right heel forward. But one. Awesome. And then release. Lovely. Extend the legs out. Give them a little wiggle. We'll take left leg. Cross it over. Your one-legged or your two-legged shoelace. Wherever you are, deep breath in. And then a little fold breath out. Last couple of breaths. And then release. Extend that top left leg. But again, bend into the right, saw the foot on the ground. Find this variation of your heron. Or again, you're going to rock forward, come into that pistol squat variation. So squeeze the belly, use the core to lift the bum. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even trying to do this. <laughs> it's just going to get worse, isn't it? Don't tell me, Joe. Don't. I don't, it's just like, yeah, it is going to get worse. Yes, nice. Hold it there for two. Awesome. For one. And then release. Lovely. We'll place the soles of the feet on the floor, hands behind us. Come into our upside down tabletop. Feel free to do this with the legs straight. It's a little bit of an extra challenge with the legs straight, but wherever you are, you should be feeling it on the shoulders. Hold it there for three. For two. For one. And then release. Let's roll all the way down onto our back. Keep the legs bent. We'll extend the right leg up to the sky. Kick the heel, catch the hamstring, or catch the calf. So your choice. If you want to extend the opposite leg, feel free, but just keep the head and keep the shoulders nice and relaxed for the first few breaths. Nice. If you want to take it a little further, bow in. So lift the head up towards the knee. If you've got that right, the opposite leg, the left leg extended, make sure the back of the leg is down onto the ground. So two options. From here, you're going to start to play with leg behind the head, or you're just going to release the hands, release the head, keep the leg in the sky. A little bit more of a relaxed position. So for leg behind the head, you're gonna go big toe to forehead first, then maybe toe around the head. You kind of get the idea. It's leg behind the head pose. <laughs> That's the next spot. Yes. And then release, bring it out. Just let the feet drop to the ground, give the knees a little wiggle. And then you'll do the same on the opposite side. The opposite leg extends, just keep the shoulders, keep the head rested for the first few breaths.
Lovely. If you want to go bow in, lift the head. And then your third variation, whatever that might be, like behind the head, or you might just relax the upper body, kick the heel towards the ceiling. We'll take a couple more breaths. And when you are ready, release. Soles the feet on the mat, bend into the legs. We're gonna take our right leg, cross it over the left, coming into your reclined twist. So let the knees roll all the way over. Open the arms, eyes over the opposite shoulder. When you're ready, just unravel, switching legs, roll the opposite leg over, cross it over, recline, twist opposite side. And then after your next breath, just bring the legs back through. Maybe you take a happy baby, maybe a little shoulder stand. But I'm going to give you about 10 or so breaths to take any final movements that your body needs. Maybe it's something that we've done already in class. Maybe it's more something to wind down your practice. Just taking a couple more breaths. And then when you are ready, coming into your final pose, your Shavasana. Get nice and comfortable. Relax the arms, relax the legs. Taking a well deserved deep breath in through the nose. And then a big long sigh out of the mouth. At the end of your practice, just make sure you give yourself that opportunity. to appreciate and to acknowledge all the changes that have happened over the last 60 minutes. Because of you, because of your practice, this incredible sensation feels so good in our Shavasana. 
and it isn't easy to achieve, this sensation doesn't just come to anybody. It requires hard work. It requires dedication and focus. And this is why we give ourselves that final opportunity just to rest. And let it all sink in. Let's just gently start to move our head from left to right. And start to move into the very tips of the fingers, tips of the toes. Let's bring all that energy back into the body and take a lovely full body stretch. Squeezing the thighs in towards the belly. Let's rise all the way up in your own way to a seated position. Taking a few breaths. And acknowledging every single person in this room, not only for sharing this class, for sharing their practice, but for sharing their love, support and energy. Hands together towards the heart center. Listen our eyes and our hearts. Namaste, everybody. Namaste, namaste, namaste. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for being here. Hope you enjoyed. If anyone's got any questions, let me know. But yeah, lovely seeing you all in Rocket. Oh, I have to lock that. <laughs>